Welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie. I teach the art of hand balancing and this is my new three week challenge for you from zero to 10 push ups in three weeks. I made this challenge because so many people in my classes and workshops struggle with doing push ups. And I remember that I myself once upon a time while I was training as a professional acrobat just thought push ups are this impossible maximum strength exercise that I just couldn't do more than two or three of. And one of the reasons why I wasn't good at push ups was because I did not know how to apply my strength properly and how to activate the core muscles and align my arms properly in order to get the best push. So I hope that in these three weeks, not only will I give you the confidence that you have a lot of strength in your upper body and that you can do push-ups by the end of the three weeks, but I hope that you will also get a better understanding of how to activate your core and execute push-ups in a technically correct way to protect your shoulders and to protect your lower back in these exercises. All of these classes are going to be swift and short, so I challenge you to try and find 10-15 minutes every day to integrate these exercises into your daily routine. And you will see that step by step is how you build strength by breaking down the exercises into little bits, which is what we will do here, and continuously taking small steps every day. So let's get started with day number one of zero to 10 push-ups. So for day number one, you need two 500 gram weights or two bottles with a content of 500 milliliters each. So any kind of um, a bottle will do. This is my normal uh, drinking bottle and this is a random fitness drink that I found in the studio. It says race faster. We are going to race faster and it slightly leaks. Um, make sure that your bottles are not leaking. And the first exercise is arms in front of you, palms facing the ceiling with your bottle or your weight and try to press the elbows into the rib cage. So try to really squeeze them into your sides here and shoulders push down, feet parallel, stomach pulled in towards the spine and we are going to lift the bottles from straight arm to your shoulder for 10. And one, two, three, keep your shoulders pushed down, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Now turn the palms facing your body. So the bottles or the weights are going to face your body. Again, straight spine, push the shoulders down and pull the stomach in towards the spine. You are going to lift the bottle to 90 degrees to your side and your shoulders tend to do this. So you want to keep them pushed down and let's lift them for 10 and one and two. Keep the shoulders pushed down three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Fantastic. Then again, the bottles or the weights are going to face your body, shoulders push down. You're going to lift them straight back as far as your arms go up here behind you. And again, we'll do that for 10. You can slightly lean to the front here if you like. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, keep the elbows straight, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Fantastic. Put your bottles away, roll the shoulders backwards to loosen up the muscles a bit and meet me on the mat here. Meet me on the mat for our very first core activation exercise. So you've got your knees propped up here. Make sure that there's no gap in between your lower back and the mat. And we're going to keep the shoulder blades off the floor here, arms by your side, pull the stomach in towards the spine. And now you're going to lift the arms, straight elbows above the head, keeping the chin tucked in to your chest. And we're going to do that for 20 and one and two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, and 10, and keep it here, 10 more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, keep the chin tucked in, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and release. Whew. Well done. We're only going to do one set today and then do a second set tomorrow. Now meet me against a wall or flat surface for our very first vertical wall push-ups. Okay, so for our wall push-ups, um, that's what it's going to look like. You just lean against the wall here and you're going to bring the forehead close to the wall, yeah? So if you want to, you can also turn the fingers out a little bit if this is difficult for your wrist. But the very important bit about this exercise is that your elbows and your forearms need to brush alongside your rib cage. So let's just do this a couple of times to just understand um, that pathway here. So it's not to the side. That's a different type of push-up. There's many different types of push-ups. But it's brushing alongside the rib cage here. You really want to have have close contact. So it's not just front and back, but it's slightly in towards the rib cage here. Yeah. So it's the equivalent of having your arm here by your side and then pressing it into your side. Yeah. So when you do the push-ups, you need to have this contact and press in. Yeah. So you want to squeeze in your rib cage. Because the closer, basically, your arms are to your rib cage, the, the better you can execute a pushing motion. We'll come back to that later, but having the, the elbows wide here in an unspecified um, space here by your sides makes it harder because you are solely relying on arm strength and that's not what you want in the push-up. In the push-up you want to combine core strength with arm strength and, and get the best out of using your body's full muscular potential. So let's just do this once together. Arms in front of you, hands flexed, and then you pull the elbows back here and squeeze your rib cage in. And squeeze the rib cage here in, really squeezing the arms in towards your body, brushing alongside the rib cage. Okay, great. Let's try this with the wall now. Place your arms here a little bit higher than your shoulders. So in this exercise, the arms are not going to brush alongside your rib cage, but this is about the pushing motion. Yeah, but still later on, we are going to brush alongside the rib cage. So that's why it's important to already understand that pathway. So spread your fingers wide and find a comfortable angle away from the wall and then just bend your arms as much as you can, uh, forehead almost touching the wall and push back with control and push back. And this is also really about getting to know your own body weight and push back up. Yeah, so try to execute this in as controlled a way as you can possibly do it. Shoulders pushed down, stomach pulled in towards the spine. Let's try to do this for 10. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, great. Now bring the arms wider than your shoulders and this time the elbows are going to go out sideways here. Yeah, which is a different motion. And let's just do this twice just to find the pathway. Yeah, elbows go out to the side. Okay, not like this. We have core engagement going throughout all of these exercises. Stomach pulled in towards the spine, shoulders pushed down. Let's do this for 10 and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Forehead a bit closer to the wall. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, great. Very good. Very nice. Well done. That's it for today. 
meet me again tomorrow for day number two of zero to ten push-ups. You see, it's all very achievable. achievable. We will build it step by step together. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. And yes, see you again tomorrow. <laughs>